Pasa Airbase, kung saan siya nagtagal ng sampung taon at naging member rin ng silip nating Blue Diamonds. Dahil sa pausay sa pagkipan at pamumuno, nabigyan siya ng magkakataon ng pamunuan ng iba't ibang medical na unit sa opisina hanggang sa siya ay mahirap na maging kadalawot apa na pinuno ng Air Force o ng upong ipapawin mula 1996 1999. Strong advocate of integrity and good governance in any position that he held in the military. Nadalari niya ang mga katangiyang yun hanggang sa siya'y magbibiro at maging isa sa mga namamahala ng bangko na hindi kayo ang kanyang ama at iba pang negosyante noong 1980. Ang Tantinan Bank, which now holds distinction as the most recognized rural bank in the country, and the only community bank that is compliant with the with international standards. It was also able to establish the William Hodgkiss Foundation Incorporated and the Hodgkiss Learning Center, which is known to provide quality education to Cantilans regardless. At present, he is the Director General of the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, It is my great pleasure to introduce to you our guest of honor for this morning, Lieutenant General William Noss Hatchkiss III. And some of them are here, of course. Retirees from the airlines, retirees from the Air Force, to fly in boost for my family with me, so that we can lift, help lift the restrictions placed upon us by the International Aviation Rating Agencies. They won the last three years with me to get those restrictions off. And may I report to us in military and civil aviation that by 2013, We got this safe, significant safety concerns placed upon us by the IAO lifted. And we also got Philippine Airlines taken off the European ban also in 2013. So that Philippine Airlines is now flying back to Europe. In 2014, we got Cebu Pacific off the EU lift and in a slum dump support. We were also able to recategorize our aviation safety standards from MA category 2 back to MA category 1. And just last week, we made a three point shot by getting All of our airlines lifted off the European ban. What is significant about that location is that all 36, we have 36 airlines for our information. From the small airlines to the big ones. And all of 36 are now authorized to fly to the European Union. They have capability. But what is more significant also is that European citizens can now fly to our country and not worry about the safety risks of flying out airlines. And also the fact that they will already be covered by their insurance from Europe and able to fly domestically in the country. That means that uh, we should be expecting European tourists to probably uh, come here. <coughs> My opening st statement to the Board of Trustees was this. I believe then that environmental degradation is the greatest threat to our national security. With what is happening in the West Philippine Sea, I am now ready to say 
that environmental degradation in the West Philippine Sea is one of the greatest threats to international security as well. We in the CAR are monitoring these events very closely so that we could react with expediency in case of any emergency or eventuality. On this note, the CAP has drawn and sent a proposed memorandum of agreement to the Philippine Air Force for the affiliation of CAP as a research unit of the Philippine Air Force. This move is in line with one of CAP's key thrusts of enhancing the complementation, I repeat that, complementation between the civil and military aviation sectors of the country which comprise the air power component of our country as well. In this connection, I believe that all Filipinos, to include even those in the retired war, to stand up and be counted in defense of the sovereignty of our country and people. Flight Plan 2028, the roadmap for the modernization and sustainability of the Philippine Air Force, which was launched recently, has the vision of creating a professional and competent Philippine Air Force that can measure up to the challenges of being responsive to the national security and development needs of the country. The apparent substance and spirit of this vision is for the PA to achieve a level of readiness and competency where it can credibly secure, protect, and defend Philippine sovereignty and territorial integrity wherever and whenever it is encroached upon and compromised. Flight Plan 2020, on the other hand, the roadmap for sustainability of the CAP complements this PF Philippine Air Force Initiative in the spirit of unity of purpose and interoperability. The Philippine Air Force is the protector of the Philippine skies against any and all threats marked the inclusion in curses. It is the gatekeeper of the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the country as the first line of defense. I grew up in the Air Force with this mindset as a young Philippine Air Force pilot officer. However, the shift in focus and posture from external to internal defense has likewise redirected the developments in the Philippine Air Force. I believe that with Flight Plan 2028, it is heartening that the Philippine Air Force is again veering towards the direction of its main function to be the sky warriors, nothing more, nothing less. To be warriors of the sky, nothing more, nothing less. CAR Flight Plan 2020 will be a complementary move to effectively manage the 3 million square kilometer flight information region which extends far out to the West Philippine Sea. CAAP's power with the Philippine Air Force is an expression of the principle which we know by heart. He who controls the air controls the ground and the seas below. It is also CAAP's articulation of its creed, sovereignty indivisible with national security. Reciprocity, indivisible, with parity. With that, ladies and gentlemen, may I express before him, for the actual celebration of the EF anniversary, Mabuhay and Philippine Air Force. Mabuhay and Philippine Air Force. Mabuhay and Philippine Air Force.